the false prophet from the book of Revelation, the one who will make fire come from the sky in full view of everyone, the one who will perform many false miracles, the one that will be cast into the lake of fire, along with Apollyon the destroyer. Who is it? Here he is. This is a face that you are all going to come to know. His name in Greek is Hermes. His name in Roman is Mercury. And he is the messenger of the gods. Mercury is the false prophet from the book of Revelation. He is the messenger of the pagan gods. He is the messenger of his own father, Zeus. This is the brother of Apollyon, the destroyer. Hermes, or if you prefer, Mercury, is usually depicted as an eagle, and the eagle is the messenger of Zeus. Here's Zeus with his messenger, the eagle, his son, Mercury, Hermes. Mercury is the false prophet from the book of Revelation. He is the messenger of the word of Zeus. The word of Zeus is the sun god, Apollyon the destroyer, also known as Eo. Take a close look at Hermes' staff. It is the symbol used by the medical profession. The staff has two snakes intertwined and they form three X's. The Roman X is a number 10 and Roman numerals are letters as well as numbers. And in modern terms that either reads as 10 or as a word, Eo, which is Greek for sun. So each X on his staff says Eo, the name of Apollyon the Destroyer, the sun god, three times. Eo, Eo, Eo. Revelation 8.13 As I watched, I heard an eagle that was flying in midair call out in a loud voice, Woe, woe, woe to the inhabitants of the earth, because of the trumpet blasts about to be sounded by the other three angels. The word for woe or sorrow, used in the original Greek translations of the Holy Bible, uh, stated in the book of Revelation, is way. However, there are other ways of saying woe or sorrow in the Greek language. One of them is aho. The word aho is used in pagan Masonic cryptography. There it finds a duplicate meaning as do as thou will. This was a phrase widely coined by the infamous Satanist Freemason Alastair Crowley. Pagans and Freemasons, which are the same thing, worship the sun god Apollyon the destroyer, who they call Helios. The word Aho is also a multi-cryptography of the name of the beast. It contains his name three times. Eo, Ao, and Heo. So if the eagle in the book of Revelation is Mercury, he shall fly through the air, calling the name of the beast in cryptic form three times. Another way of expressing sorrow is to sigh. Now if we write that down, in Greek language, it would be like this, the X and the O. The X is the Greek H. And when you place an X and an O together, they form the Roman numeral for 1000. And in Greek, 1000 is Helios. And Helios is another name of Apollyon the Destroyer. So if the eagle Mercury were to fly through the sky, expressing a sigh three times, ho, 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 the same as his father Zeus, who masquerades as Santa Claus, he would be crying Helios, 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 the name of the beast, three times. The eagle Hermes, or if you prefer Mercury, was depicted by the Nazis as bringing the word of Apollyon the destroyer. Here you can see the eagle carrying the Roman numeral for 1,000. 1,000 in Greek is Helios. So here we have a representation of the eagle who is Hermes or Mercury bringing the word of Helios who is Apollyon the destroyer. The same false prophet messenger of the gods cryptography is played out again in the use of the swastika. Here we see the swastika being held in a disc by an eagle and the eagle is the representation of Hermes, or if you prefer, Mercury, and he is carrying the swastika inside the circle. The swastika itself is made up of a Germanic runestone symbol known as the Sol or Sig, 
and what that means is sun. So two of these are crossed over each other and that forms the swastika. So the swastika says sun, sun. Next, let's take a look at the swastika inside of the circle itself. It crosses in the middle and forms an X. An X inside of a circle is a Roman numeral for 1000 and in Greek 1000 is Helios. Once again, the name of the beast being bought by the messenger, the eagle, Mercury, Hermes, and it reads, Sun, Sun, Helios. And look what Hermes, the false prophet, the eagle, is doing with his right hand. He's making the very famous Masonic hand signal, the same one made by Adolf Hitler, the same one made by Apollyon, the destroyer, who is the brother of Hermes, the false prophet, and also made by Zeus, their father, the devil himself. This will surprise you, but America's Statue of Liberty is based upon Apollyon the Destroyer with a sun crown on her head and she makes exactly the same hand signal as Apollyon the Destroyer, Hermes the False Prophet, Adolf Hitler and Zeus who is the Devil. Take a look at the hand of the Messenger of the Gods, the False Prophet, the Eagle, Hermes or if you prefer Mercury. With this new information we can now break the cryptography of the so-called Masonic M hand sign by comparing it with depictions of the eagle. And as you can see, that hand sign is simply a mimic of an eagle claw. It is the sign of the false prophet, the messenger of the gods, Hermes, Mercury. He is the false prophet from the book of Revelation. Now take a closer look at the left hand of the Statue of Liberty. Look at the ring finger. The ring finger in palmistry is called the finger of Apollyon or the finger of the sun. On the finger of Apollyon there are three sets of six bolt holes. Six, six, six. The number of the beast, Helios, Apollyon, the destroyer. The pagan statue of liberty which makes the eagle claw hand sign of Mercury, the false prophet, the messenger of the gods, has a sinister message and that is in the word July. In Greek, the word July is Iulios. It is made up of two words, Iu, which means of the sun, and Leos, which means lion. So the message being brought by the Statue of Liberty, which is making the hand sign of Mercury, the messenger of the gods, is Lion of the Sun, or, if you prefer, Sun Lion, and that is Apollyon, the destroyer, the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation. Look at Hermes hat, it has wings and it is the classic flying saucer shape and I believe this is where these stories come from, from these Nephilim giants and their flying craft. And the Nazi eagle carries a disc and it flies, again a flying disc just like the hat. It looks very much like a military hat doesn't it? And don't forget that uh, every single uh, uh, military in the world uh, practices the battle tactics of Hermes' brother, Polyon the Destroyer. Polyon, otherwise known as Abaddon, Helios, Helios, Eo, Helios, Abaddon, Alexander the Great, the son of Zeus, all the same person. This is Alexander the Great and this is Helios the sun god, and this is Apollyon, the destroyer, the beast from the pit from the book of Revelation. As you can see, they're all the same person. So yes, we have a link to the military here as well with this. Look at Hermes' cap here. It's called a Phrygian uh, cap. It's the same shape as the Santa Claus uh, hat that you all wear at Christmas. Uh, and this was the standard uh, headdress of a group of people known as the Magi in English. But pronounced in Greek, um, their, their name is Magi. And Magi means sorcerers. Mercury is the god of commerce and scoundrels, of liars. And they are the ones who pray to him. Hermes, Mercury, the eagle the son of Zeus, the brother of Apollyon the Destroyer. 
He is the messenger of the gods. He is the false prophet from the book of Revelation. 